Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Battle Series, the School of Hard Knocks. Throughout this episode, like every other, we'll be jumping on to the Pokemon Global Link Battle Spot Ladder, playing under the Championship Battle Rules, which are the equivalent rule set of the VGC 2019 season. We are in the Moon Series. We're going to continue today with this Eveltal Groudon team that we've been playing for the last two weeks. We've got two more days with it. So, without further ado, if you enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like support the channel leave your comments in the comment section below and more importantly subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with all of these videos make sure the notification bell the notification bell is on so you don't miss any of the content when it does come out um and uh, we'll wind down with this team and we'll be back with a brand new team next week looking forward to it and um, we've had some ups we've had some downs with this team we've had some really good matches we've had some really incredible matches game one uh, week one with this team but as we wean through this week, it's not been the best showing at all, but um, it's just how, how things go sometimes. Sometimes, like, tiredness can be a cause of performance and things like that. Sometimes RNG doesn't work out so well for you as we've seen in a few matches, um, but we're going to persist on and see if we can finish up on a high with this team because that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, so hopefully you guys enjoy it but let me know what your thoughts are on this team in general and things like that I would love to hear and uh, if it takes too long to find an opponent right now I will cut and uh, come back when we've got our first opponent of the episode and here we are we've got Andrea first opponent of the day from Italy so here we go and into team preview it looks like it's going to be Playing a team of Stack Attacker, Eveltal, Tapu Koko, Groudon, Venusaur, and Incineroar. So, what are we going to do here? I think the Eveltal is very good. We need to be very careful with the Tapu Koko, though. We need Incineroar with its Intimidate. I think Groudon's excellent here. And we also need Tapu Dufini as well for that support against Venusaur. So, we'll lock straight in and then we'll get back onto the main screen and uh, we'll be ready to go in this one today so mirror is always an interesting matchup i think the things that we need to be careful of more than anything here is that venusaur because we're going to have to utilize our ground on to get rid of the coco uh, that causes us so many problems to get a velto going that can beat the ground on so there's check after check at every corner so we just have to be a little bit cautious about how we're playing it here and um make sure that we're taking our time and uh win it because that's what we're here to do. Put in a good show. But no, that should be a lot of fun. Right, let's see what my opponent leads out with. Trainer Andrea sends out Pokemon. Groudon and Tepe de Coco. Which is not bad for us, really. So we send out uh, Iveltal and Incineroar. So, we've got the option to fake out turn one on the Tepe Coco. Um, but again, I think what I like to do in this situation is switch Eveltal out to Groudon, fake out the Groudon. Because I'm worried about the Tectonic Rage all the time now and opposing Groudons. Um, the, the other thing that we could do, I mean doing that preserves uh, Incineroar a lot, a lot better, so... I think I'm going to do that. It puts our ground on a nice position going into the next game. We could see the Tapu Koko switch out for Incineroar straight away here, but we want to be a bit more worried about what the Groudon's doing than what the Tapu Koko's doing. It could have the Z move, um, and it could very well go into the Incineroar, but at the same time, we're just going to see a Volt switch into that Groudon, which is fine. Gives us the option and opportunity to go for a Precipice Blades here and switch into our Eveltal. But at the same time, if we do that, you've got to think that the opposing Tapagoko goes for a Volt Switch into Eveltal. Um, I'm going to do it actually. We've got the Assault Vest. I'd rather do that and then alleviate any Precipice Blades or Tectonic Rage damage and take a Volt Switch in the process and keep our Incineroar around for as long as possible. We do have Heal Pulse, remember, so we can take advantage of that later in the game. We've got the Assault Vest, so it will mean we can take this a bit more comfortably than we usually would. And uh, Coco going to do that, that play that we're talking about, Volt Switch out. And uh, we'll see what comes in. And it is going to be Eveltal for my opponent as well. Okay. The ideal if we saw the uh, oh, the opposing Groudon goes for the Precipice Blitz does make connection with our Groudon. 
but because it's intimidated, not doing too much damage. And uh, we'll return with the Precipice Blades and actually hit this time, so that's quite nice and do a little bit more damage in return. So I think now what we'll do is get rid of Groudon. I'm going to bring in Tapu Fini, start Icy Wind supporting, and I'm going to go for a... Hmm... I'm going to go for a knockoff into the Evelto because I want to get rid of that Assault Vest as soon as I can. It makes it a bit easier for Tapu Fini to actually damage it with Icy Winds and things like that. Um, and then once it's in, we can start putting a lot of pressure on, like I say, with these Icy Winds, which is going to be the main thing to help us set up some heal pulse support. Oblivion Wing going to come out for the opposing Evelto. It's going to be into the Fini. Not do too much damage, but you can see that it is relying on this special type attacks. I'm going to get the knockoff and knock off the Assault Vest and um, a fire punch coming out and it is going to be into your Veltal. Right, okay, so we can go for an Icy Wind right now and I think we just follow that up with an Oblivion Wing into that Veltal. It's not got its Assault Vest anymore. Uh, we do see the opposing Veltal go for a Snarl. It's not the most worrying thing in the world um, as we will be able to still get some damage back with this Oblivion Wing into that Veltal um, which will allow us to take at least another fire punch before we can get a heal pulse off this next turn which is the main thing isn't it so there's the icy wind there onto the Groudon and the Veltal on the opponent's side of the field do a little bit of chip damage in the process Groudon speed and Veltal speed falling and swords dance Ooh, so risky business my friend probably doesn't think we've got foul play but we definitely do have that attack so we're going to go for that heal pulse and I'm going to throw out a foul play into the ground on it might switch out um, because it's so obvious that we go for the foul play but no no switches and we do get the foul play off which is really nice for us we're going to be able to pick up the KO onto that ground on after that plus two we fell into a similar trap ourselves earlier in the week um, and it's never nice to kind of be subjected to so we are able to get the heal pulse off with our type of finny into the event Snarl coming out again from the opposing Ubelto and doing a little bit more chip damage along the way. You can expect probably Tapu Koko to come back onto the scene now. My opponent because it will be able to get its terrain up but we do have... I think we're, we're not too bad because we still got our Assault Vest so we can potentially bring in um, Aaron Groudon or Incineroar here. Um, I'm probably leaning more towards Incineroar and going for a snarl and hopefully we don't see uh, an Electrium Z which most Cocos on this sort of build have um, but we'll see what my opponent goes for preserving the Finny is quite nice as well because we can bring it in a later stage and get our terrain back up And there's a grass knot. It's actually chasing down the ground on the Finny and then the ground on switch in on that side of the field. And uh, we will get a snarl off with our Velta, which is going to help us out massively going forward in this match. So that is super, super helpful. Another snarl coming out. Not really going to affect our Incineroar very much. Um, but just lowering our special attack a little bit more. I think now I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz into that type of Coco. Don't really see too much reason not to. And I'm just going to go for another Snarl. My opponent might want to start adjusting their board position. We might see the type of Coco go for a, a Volt Switch here. Just going for a Protect instead. Just don't want to take any damage this turn as we're going to see the Veltal opponent side of the field. Probably throw out a Oblivion Wing maybe to try and get some health back. But with these Snarls that we're throwing out at it right now, it's not really going to have too much leverage to do that. So we just see a Snarl come out. I don't mind this really at all. We can play this waiting game all day long if we want. And um, there's the Flare Blitz into the Tapu Koko. And I think one thing we could potentially do is go... Yeah, I think I'm just going to continue doing this. Because if the Venusaur's in the back, the Tapu Koko feels a bit... It's not as easy to switch into that Venusaur as you would kind of maybe think it was. We are going to see the Z move now come out from the Tapu Koko. Minus one though. We should be taking this. He says with confidence. Um, but uh, hmm, I don't know. I feel like we do take it minus one. It's an electric terrain. Yeah, I think I'm pretty confident we take this. <coughs> Had a bit of chip. 
We don't take it. Ah, I mean, what do you say to that? I re I really don't know. I really don't know, honestly. Do get a fair bit off. We'll get Finny in. We have no, we have no joy with RNG at the minute, do we? Maybe a sign that we should stop playing the Moon series. <laughs> uh, okay, let's you turn out on the Eveltal and go for an icy wind. I want to try and maneuver Groudon in if I can. There's a Volt Switch from the top of Coco. It's going to be into the Incineroar. Not doing very much damage. We'll see what comes in in place of it. It's going to be a bit annoying if it is a Venusaur because we'll give it the sun now. There it is, the sun comes up, but we do have uh, we do have Incineroar, don't we? So we can we can play around with Incy a little bit, uh, especially with our terrain up. And then if Coco comes in, then the terrain in the back's not really doing too much either. Um, we will get a little bit of damage off onto the Eveltal, and uh, it does miss our Incineroar, which we don't care about. We would have really preferred the other way around. But, like we say, RNG hates us at the moment, so we, we're not getting really any of the breaks that we need with anything. We'll bring in Groudon, because we've got no choice other than to do so. We're going to get the sun up. Chlorophyll is going to be in full force going forward into this match for my opponent. Um, which is not ideal, but we have to switch this back out. Hopefully Tapu Fini can take a sludge bomb. I'm not really sure we'll be able to. Um, but it's got to be more concerned about the Groudon, I think, than the the Finny. I'm confident we take a Sludge Bomb as long as it's not Life Orbed. I think we take a Sludge Bomb from the Venusaur. I'm going to get the Intimidate onto both targets, both primarily special types anyway, so there's a Sludge Bomb. Yep. We take it. Finny is a beast. Proc that berry, and we'll get that all-important... Uh, icy wind off which is very nice again for us um, we've got access to the fake out this next turn as well let's see Ivelto will just throw out another snow but it's so broken at this point it's stats are so low far play coming into cinema is that another crit yeah of course it is <sighs> Um, I'm gonna just go I'm gonna go flare blitz and I'm gonna go icy wind again into the Venusaur goes grass not this time maybe expecting Groudon to come in this slot it's a bit mad so get another icy wind off And we'll be able to get rid of this Eveltal this turn. Hopefully Incineroar, yeah, it is outspeeding it, so it's not going to take any damage. We've got the Corco to come in. Now, the Venusaur obviously outspeeds us at the moment. But if we can do enough to stall out the sun and make it so much easier when Groudon comes in to just get rid of everything. But whether or not the Corco has enough in its tank to take out the Incineroar from this range, I really don't feel like it does. Um, I'm going to chase down the Venusaur and I'm going to go Icy Wind again. There's a Thunderbolt. Where's it gone? Yeah, doubling into the NC. Get the Icy Wind now on the Venusaur so we do outspeed that, which is very nice. Does Incy outspeed the Venusaur? I doubt it does. Not this range. Sleep powder. Oh, that's something I would do. Don't do that. <laughs> you could have doubled the Incineroar. Oh. I feel bad for my opponent. I've been there a million times before, and now it's easy for us just to close this game up with a flare blitz and an icy wind. 
and there's the forfeit there. So very good game to my opponent. A good way for us to kick off today, but I do feel for them. I know what it's like when you go into um, when you you know, it's like a misclick there or something odd happens when the terrain's up. You think the misty terrain's gone, but then forget about the electric terrain. It can happen. It can happen. You know, in long matches like that, things get drawn out and stuff. It's 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 easy for us to sit and look at and say, why did you do that? When it's sometimes you've got a million and one things going on in your brain where it's just the one thing that you really overlook. Um, so it's, it's, it's hard. So... Like I say, I've been there myself many times, so I do understand. But uh, hopefully we can find an opponent pretty quickly and get into this next one and get it ready for Friday tomorrow. And we've got our next opponent of the episode, Igor from Portugal, playing a team of... Kyoga Ludicolo, Incineroar Lunala. Ferrothorn and Tapacoco, there's a QR code team, so we're probably looking at Z-Move Lunala here or Z-Move Coco, maybe Z-Move Ludicolo, probably be down that side, but we can't discount Z-Move Kyoga either. I think we've not got a bad matchup here, we just need to manage the Tapacoco quite well. We can do that with Groudon support and possibly, um, I think we got Tapu Fini here over everything else. It's a nice switch into those water type attacks and there uh, we'll lock and that will be us going into this match. Things to watch out for, of course, going to be that Tapu Koko with Ari Velto. Um, but if we can deal with the Tapu Koko, everything else kind of falls into place. The rain mode as well, we need to make sure that we're winning the weather match if we can. Um, but Groudon is bulky enough in this team, especially with that heal pulse support on the Tapu Fini to uh, operate well enough to uh, to do that. So there's the Ludicolo and the Kyoga coming out for my opponent, that fast, fast, fast mode. Um, and then we're going to see the Incy and the Velto for ourselves. Um, I wonder what my opponent's looking to do here. Um, I'm going to just snarl and switch into Groudon. Because we want to get rid of the rain. Like, that's a big thing. Like if a Z move comes out here, we want to get rid of the rain. So Incy going out, Incy wins his spider, and Groudon coming in. Gonna get rid of all that rain. Hopefully we don't see a fake out. This is just a hydro pump. Groudon avoids! Yes! You king! <laughs> Wow, look at the damage. That is like the highest damage roll I've ever seen the Kyogre. That is crazy. Do get the Snarl off. I'm going to see the Kyogre probably switch this next turn. We're pretty lucky that that Groudon avoided the Hydro Pump there. Super offensive. Turn one from my opponent. Um, I'm going to switch into Incineroar. I expect a Grass Knot to kind of come out here from the Ludicolo Kyogre switch out. Yeah, indicating that it is maybe scoffed Kyogre. Incineroar coming in for my opponent. Just fine. Just fine, fine, fine. Because the Ludi is one thing that we need to make sure we're getting rid of. We might need to end up sacrificing Groudon in the, the overall grand scheme of things. Um, but what we'll do next is we'll start some Icy Wind support. If we can get in a position where we can switch Groudon back in and, and get a heal pulse off onto it, that would be ideal for us going forward. So there's the Snarl again. And uh, doing some more nice chip damage to this Ludicolo. And uh, what we're going to see it go for. Where's the Grass Knot? So, so far, Yveltal's kind of left unscathed, really. Which is pretty nice. So we can probably go for an Oblivion Wing into the Ludicolo here. Um, and I'm just going to pivot out onto the Ludi as well with Incineroar. Just you turn out onto it. So we can um, make sure that we are winning this Weather War if it does come down to it. Because Incineroar obviously could go for Fake Out here um, and shut something down. Potentially wants to probably go for the Uvalto. Ludicolo going to switch out, what we're going to see it come in, Kyogre. I mean, I really don't mind this, the, the more damage we get onto this thing, and like if we can pivot out with Incineroar here, that's just super good for us. Could have went for the Snarl again there, but um, that's been covered by that Incineroar fake out. But at the same time, we're making the most of our turns here, and making sure that we do get our Groudon back in. 
And I think this next turn, what I'll do is switch Groudon back out for Tapu Fini. And then we can start that Icy Wind disruption that we've been talking about. So that's excellent. There's the sun. And I think um, I'm going to actually... Mm, I don't know if I want to snarl because I feel like the Kyogre switches out here. I kind of feel like I want Oblivion Wing into the Incineroar and switch out into Finny. I think that's probably the better play here. We're not going to see the Kyogre switch out though, which is interesting. We do get Finny in and get our Missy Terrain up, which is always very nice. It's just going to stay in water spout. Crazy, crazy, crazy man. You can see how much damage it's doing to the Velta, like nothing at all. We'll get some good damage onto this um, Incineroar. We've got to be a bit worried about a Flare Blitz potentially coming out from the Incineroar onto our Velta. Um, but it's just going to go for a U turn. Which works out a lot better for us. But now we could potentially see that type of Corpo come in, which could be a little bit awkward. My opponent did have Corpo, right? Maybe everything feels like it's got Coco at the minute. It's not. It's the Lunala. Okay. That's fine. I think the Kyogre switches out this next turn though, for sure. Uh, but that's that's quite alright, because we can just Icy Wind and Snarl. And like with what Pokemon my opponents got, they're going to find it difficult to take down this type of Finny for sure. So the disruption we can provide and support the rest of our team with is quite nice here. Incineroar coming in, which is to be expected, to be honest, it's the best thing to come in in this, this particular situation, but we're not worried about that too much. We're worried about getting in a position now with Tapu Fini. It's going to be a lot more difficult to make use of that heal pulse, if I'm not completely honest. Um, but we are able to get that snarl onto to both targets and if anything decides to switch out now especially in Incineroar which is going to outspeed our Veltal um, we will be able to get a Snarl if we continue that get an Icy Wind off as well um, but it might be a good time for us to actually switch out um, Tapu Fini do we switch out Tapu Fini? Or it might be a good time for us to actually um, maneuver Groudon back in uh, but if we do that, we lose the Weather Wolf for sure. And like I said at the start, we might need to just use Groudon as um, uh, weather leverage rather than anything to attack with in this game. Makes dealing with the Incineroar a lot more difficult. So there's the type of thing you're going to okay, be faked out. This is a move. Gonna see more Dragon Ball Z clips here, so I will try for Stu to get something like the um, <clears throat> the Trunks animation that you talked about, and we'll overlay that if I can. Um, I'm breaking about a million other copyright laws, probably doing that, but I mean it's better than better than getting pulled up for it for a game, an in-game thing. It's all right with every other thing. <laughs> it's madness. Madness how these things work. I don't know why or how. Oh, wow, it does like nothing after the snarl as well. So the snarl pick up the, the knockout here. Get the Lunala. And then we're going to see Kyogre come in, I think. That's Tapu Fini flinches. Kyogre coming in. So I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go for that snarl again. And I'm just gonna sacrifice I'm just gonna sacrifice Oh do I just stay in? Oh, I don't really want Evelto taking masses of damage. Um but I think they predict the switch in, so I might here go for um, a heal pulse into Ivalto. If Tapu Fini survives, I'm gonna see Ludicolo come in. The Kyogre probably goes Origin Pulse, I think, over everything else. Oh, it's got an Ice Beam. Okay, so Fini is left alone this turn, so we should take an Ice Beam. Yep. And there's a Snarl. 
my opponent probably expecting the Groudon to come in. Uh, we get a critical hit onto the Kyogre, which is quite nice for us anyway. Um, and then the heal pulse there from the Tepa Finny. And that Kyogre is 100% locked into Ice Beam now. Which makes it so much easier for Incineroar coming in. Um, I'm not going to switch in Groudon just yet. I'm just going to bring in Incineroar. Because I'm pretty sure this, the Kyogre is Scarfed. Yeah, the Kyogre's going out. Now, I'd imagine the Ludicolo, if it doesn't attack into the Evelto, it probably goes Grass Knot into that Finny slot, expecting the Groudon to come in. We'll get an Intimidate onto both of these targets, more importantly, that in Incineroar, as we've said before. There's a Grass Knot chasing down that. Um, Chasing down the ground on switching. Yeah. But unfortunately for my opponent, we don't make that play. We get the snarl off into the Ludicolo. Which locks the weather for my opponent, making it very easy for us to just bring in our ground on, overwrite the rain and uh, and win this match. So there's a Kyoga. Like I said, pretty easy for us now. Um, we can just snarl. Um, we could probably just go knock off, to be honest, into the Kyogre, get rid of the Scarf, bring in Groudon. And we've got so much resource left, we don't really need to worry about the Incineroar too much. Um, it could probably fake us out here, but again, even with... <sighs> I don't think it matters too much fake out that's why we've got the sun coming in it's just that additional bit of protection here there's the fake out and it is going to be into that type of finny slot scald coming out into velto not very powerful because of the sun and we do get the knockoff into the kyoga I mean, we will reveal the choice specs actually not the scarf so um it is going to outspeed us still I'm going to knock off into the Incineroar and I'm going to go into my own Incineroar. Now we've got the weather up. We don't need to uh, overextend ourselves too much and uh, lose ground on for free. I'm going to keep it in the back for as long as we can. Um, but getting rid of a potential berry on the Incineroar is quite nice so we don't have more work to do later in the game. Um, and Kyogre is going to be pretty easy to deal with going forward. It's probably going to Ice Beam into Evelto. Sure, but it's open to uh, Fake Out next turn and going down. Uh, it's just going to keep locked into that skull, going to chase down the ground on because it's not got that choice specs anymore and they're doing as much damage as we get the knockoff into the incineral takeaway potential berry which is very nice for us and a new turn into our incineral um, but unfortunately there's nothing in the back to go into so I'm not going to make use of that very much and uh, that is going to be pretty much game for us as we can oblivion wing into the incineral and just fake out the opposing Kyogre for Zivin and get two wins today which is better than it has been over the past few days so putting us back on track and sent us perfectly up for a nice way to say goodbye to this team tomorrow so it's been a better episode hope you've enjoyed it guys thank you so much for tuning in good game to my opponent as always do leave a like on the video make sure you do subscribe to the channel support the channel and uh, leave your comments in the comment section below so until next time guys take care of yourselves farewell have a great day morning afternoon night whatever time of day it is and i'll see you all for the next one very soon so until then bye bye